What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 8th Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be talking to you guys, it's called data encapsulation and how to access instance variables. So in building our program you notice that anytime we wanted to change variables we needed to add a method in this implementation section. So if we wanted to change age we need to make a method in implementation to change age if we went down to our main method right here and we tried to set age equal to 32 and we went ahead and tried to build it and run this we would get an error right here and it said age undeclared so pretty much you can't access these variables anywhere besides your implementation section so why did they do this and why are you not allowed to access our variables from inside our main method. Well they did this because they didn't want like if you had a company you wouldn't want your programmers that were creating objects and everything to be able to F up the code that was inside the class. So they pretty much uh, have it separate where anyone who creates objects can't mess with the code that's already in the class. So it's actually a pretty nice system and that is called the concept of data encapsulation so what if you needed to use that age variable in your main section or excuse me your main method of your program well what you would need to do is you would need to build a special method and it's called a getter method but uh, we'll talk about that later on and all it does is it returns to you the variables so let's go ahead and do that right now instead of returning void like we did in these three methods what we need to do is actually return these variables so go ahead and put since they're both integers go ahead and put int age and this is going to be a method and if you're saying alright this is going to be a method called age and you already have a variable called age that's going to get confusing isn't it well actually this is a pretty common programming practice and by default whenever you have a method name the same thing as a variable then it automatically is most commonly a getter method so everyone in the programming world understands what this would mean already but anyways just thought I'd throw that out there so now that you have age we need to make another method called wait so now that we have uh, the methods declared we can go ahead and implement them so let's go ahead and just copy this our method header and put it right there, paste it, and now we need a method body. So let me just make this easier for you guys to read. And there we go. So what do we want our method to do? The only thing it needs to do needs to do is return the variable age. So return age. And we need to do this exact same thing for weight. So Let's go ahead and put int, since it's returning an integer, wait, and for the body, the only thing it does, return wait. So now, whenever we call these methods, all it's going to do is return that variable. So this is kind of a trick, and since we can't access the variables directly, but we know that this implementation section of our program can, we have to go through the implementation section and that's how we get to the variables so let's go ahead and well let's the first thing we need to do is set an age and weight for Bucky so we already created our object I didn't delete that from the last tutorial put Bucky set or excuse me set age was first I believe set age and set it equal to like 25 and now give this object a weight and set my weight equal to like 240 anything you want and now that Bucky has an age and a weight we can go ahead and print out our variable so we do this in the ns log and go ahead and put at and let's go ahead and put something like Bucky is percent i and weighs percent i and now as our variables we can just go ahead and use the well you'll see in a second Bucky 
Bucky age and Bucky forgot to put that in brackets Bucky wait so let's go ahead and run this make sure we don't have any errors and it says succeeded so go ahead and put run console and it says Bucky is where is it Bucky is 25 and weighs 240 so what exactly did we do here what we did is since we couldn't access the variable straight from our main method right here we needed to build new methods that all these methods methods did is returned variables this one returned age and this method called weight return weight so then instead of just putting age and weight here like we couldn't before we needed to put the method in there as the variables and whenever you came across this it said alright Bucky is some variable now what am I supposed to put here well call the method Bucky age which was this and whatever value you got in return that's what I want you to print out and now it says and weighs some variable so what am I supposed to put in the place of that well it's Bucky weight which is the return value for this method right there so that's the basics of pretty much how to access your variables from inside your main method and that's all I wanted to teach you guys um, essentially you can't do it aside from making these methods so anytime you wanna access the variables that's what we needed to do and it's pretty much to protect the classes from anyone pretty much to stop the people that create objects from messing up the class so that's it for this tutorial thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial